King didn't just get their name because it's the founder's last name. And the internal bypass coilovers and shocks are probably the pinnacle of their bolt-on OE performance lines. But does that mean they're necessarily right for you? Well, you got 60 seconds to find out. Now, I would argue that the King IBP or internal bypass piston design is probably the original internally contained position sensitive design, and certainly it's the most simple and elegant. It's basically comprised of two pistons, your primary and the red IBP piston, a shaft that is semi-hollow, and a pin at the other side. In the primary ride zone, when you're in the meat of the travel of the shock, Oil is able to flow through the hollow portion of the shaft, out through ports, and goes through the red piston, the IBP, or internal bypass piston. This is usually set up a little softer because it is your primary ride zone. Then when you hit a bump big enough for the suspension to compress through most of its travel, the pin at the end of the body engages and slides into the hollow portion of the shaft. It blocks the ports to the IBP, or red piston, and then all the oil has to go through the valving of the primary piston, which is usually set up stiffer on both compression and rebound. This effectively makes it like you have two separate shocks, especially since you can valve both pistons independently just like you would tune a normal shock. If you had to make one complaint about this design is because it doesn't have a secondary rebound zone on full extension, sometimes you have to set these up to really pack when they get into that final ride zone to keep the front end up and to keep from nose diving. You can see this a lot on pre runners that have these on the front. You really will see them hang that front tire. And essentially, what's happening is when you go into that bottom out zone, they are both stiffer on compression and so stiff on rebound. They're trying to hold the tire, disperse some more energy so it doesn't slam down, top out, and force you to nosedive. This allows you to carry similar speeds to something that might be a little bit more modern, like a Bill Sign 8112 design. You just might not be spending as much time with your tires on the ground. That said, for those drawbacks, they are probably the most easily customized and the most easily set up for a more custom setup and probably the easiest to pair with a true bypass secondary for the ultimate in position sensitive control. I would also say, you know, it would be nice to see a little bit more advanced adjuster design on a set of coilovers and shocks, at least at this price point but the King mid-speed adjuster is probably the easiest to set up, and if you're gonna be running multiple shocks, it's probably better to make your life as easy as possible. But we'll leave it down to you guys in the comments. Is King still the king when it comes to these position-sensitive shocks, or are you looking for a more modern design? And if there's something else you wanna see us talk about, well, that comment section is the spot for you as well. And while you're there, make sure you're hitting like, subscribe, and the bell icon so you can see all the fun stuff we're getting into, and if you ask us to do something, if you're subscribed, chances are, you're going to see it. And if you're interested in these kings or anything else for whatever you're whipping, make sure to slide on over to shocksurplus.com. We'd love to get you dialed in. In the meantime, though, we'll see you out on the trails.